No, not at all. We pretty much been in an environment, you know, similar to this one. So we're just going to go out and just treat it like any other game. The environment doesn't really matter. We don't really think about where we're playing, who we're playing against. We just, you know, we just play at Clemson Standard, which is our best. decision there by Richard Q. He reads the blitz, and with Clemson blitzing, with them empty in the backfield, that means there's no spy on the quarterback. And look at the running room he has here. He outruns the defensive end, gets the first down. He got blown up a little bit, but he got his team a first down. Darius Robinson from College Park, Georgia. No pressure, but let's just get the job done, okay, fellas? Ball batted away and intercepted Darius Robinson. And he scores. Quandon Christian chipped it. Robinson a pick six. Thirty-five yard return of the interception by Darius Robinson. And another defensive touchdown for the Tigers. And as good as South Carolina State's defense has been, Clemson has been better. Heads up play there by Darius Robinson. And again, look at the Clemson football players, their defense. And 14 defensive points. A pair of pick sixes. And Darius Robinson, the latest. Your cue for South Carolina State to calm down, not let frustration settle in, and execute this offense. 87 yards and interception returns for Clemson. And two touchdowns. 52-yarder earlier in the half to Martin Jenkins. That one a moment ago, Robinson's 35-yard take back. Film to me was Grady Jarrett. Might have been a lateral to Tyson Gully, and he's taken down for a loss. Darius Robinson made the tackle. Here's Chris Cotter. Hunt under duress throws another interception. Darius Robinson has this one. He was trying to get it to Chris Clark and Robinson wouldn't allow that to happen. His second interception of the season. Well, mental mistakes and non mental mistakes. Right here, Robinson just plays the route and jumps the route. Now, Chris Clark has to help his buddy out right here. He's got to fight to get across the face of Robinson. Shannon mentioned the weather. It is very warm and stuffy as usual in here, but that hasn't been a problem for Clemson. Incomplete pass. But it's different than the Georgia Dome, which is big and cavernous. Here, the. Hunt got belted as he throws. Diving attempt for an interception by Darius Robinson. And it is the third interception of the day for Clemson. And his second. Nice job of turning into an athlete. You see that Darius Robinson makes a tough catch, covering deep on the seam route. So the Tigers will take over. They can run it. They can. They can shrink the clock a little bit. They go hurry up. Watford had the first down. If he cuts inside, instead goes outside, and he's going to be a yard shy because Darius Robinson stopped him on the corner. This is a here. part of this by necessity. Georgia Tech throwing for 142 yards tonight. Average less than 120. They're last in the ACC. Option. Oh, oh, that was dangerous as he pitched it back to Tony Zenon. Learning when to pitch, when to keep, timing of the pitch is something that Lee's still working on. And, and uh, this one sent him out of preferred he kept. And I thought you had two clips of guys running in the same direction. I thought you had a chance there to make a big play, but Darius Robinson, a lot of these corners have done a good job all night. Coming up and tackling and support corners. Well, it'd be good to get a block on him, too. Yeah. I mean, you see right there, BJ Boston. I think he was waiting for him to run up field so he could push him up field, but Robinson was just chilling. A part of that, Lee's eyes have to be on his option guy. Yards, and much like Clemson wants to establish the run, South Carolina does as well. Shot of the shotgun again. 
ends it off, and nowhere to go that time for Mike Davis again. Mike Davis Vince that likes to pressure. Wouldn't be surprised at all tonight if two or three runs are the difference from Shaw. Great wild card to have at quarterback. Here's it out downtown. And good coverage down the sideline intended for Roland. But Darius Robinson was there stride for stride with him. Second down. Decision making has been so critical to the wins and losses. On second and ten, fires incomplete. Man. Now they're going to use the old Wildcat formation. Shaw split out wide. Cooper takes the snap and throws it. And incomplete. Intended for Connor Shaw. A little roll reversal. <laughs> and Shaw looks at the DB. Darius Robinson says, hey, I might have had that one. Don't sleep on me. I hope that ball was tipped in the Wildcat. Again on the direct snap, takes off the other direction. And not as much success this time. Great form tackle on the play by Darius Robinson, providing great support from his corner spot. A loss of one on the play. Second down and 11. Tigers have to find a way to get off the field here defensively. This has just been a first half that South Carolina has owned the time of possession. He's doing a great job as the basketball coach here. Mike Davis with a tailback on first down. A little out and up. And incomplete. Nick Jones seemed to stumble and fall on his way to trying to make that catch. Working against Darius Robinson, who came over. It was second down and ten. And usually those third and extra longs even out for a defense. Ellington looking for the double pass. Ellington going to take off. His options limited, and he makes something out of nothing. Makes it down to the. Shaw taking a shot. A little contact, and no flag on the play. Fourth down coming up. Between Wilson and Breeze, so sound. See if the Gamecocks can steal back some of that momentum. This stadium has gone a little bit quiet of late. Pass complete to Bruce Ellington, but nowhere to gain, go. Gained a yard on the play. Just away from him and ended up picking up big yardage, which could have been right at the line of scrimmage. Second and about two, and that was almost a pick six. Darius Robinson obviously studied film this week. He saw that coming, closed on the flanker screen. If he doesn't trip and go down, that's a touchdown. And so watch the up top. There's four receivers trying to set it up. And that's a wonderful job by Robinson. He just staked right through the first three guys who no one knew who was supposed to block him. You can see right there, number 80. I believe that was 88, Ryan Malik, the tight end coming back. Four-man rush, well protected, all day to throw, and that's tipped away from Amadon, and incomplete. Darius Robinson got a hand in. Now it's fourth down and two at the plus 36. He tries to spread Clemson out on third down and nine. Tigers rush three. Reddick well protected. Wobbly throw to the far side left. In Let's watch number 21. He sees it. He breaks on it. Did he get there before the ball? Maybe a split second and that backhand, that right hand, a lot of times defenders like to use that as a safety valve, kind of feel that receipt. Brenner trying to set up a screen, pass tipped in the air and intercepted. Another North Carolina turnover. Darius Robinson with the interception for Clemson. Sixth takeaway for the Tigers. Wide open in the flat. That's Oglesby close to the first down. Brought down by Robinson. On first and ten. Oglesby, got a little bit of a block from his quarterback, Logan Thomas. And uh, when you look at the size of Logan Thomas, a freshman have seen action already this season for the Tigers. Thomas completes it. 
to Cole, and he stopped immediately at the 15-yard line. It'll be about six yards to go for the first down. Boykin makes the catch. Makes a move, but didn't get enough for the first down. He's brought down at the 12 beside Thomas to his left. Clemson bringing some heat. And it's incomplete at the eight-yard line. The Tigers defensively with another defining point in this ballgame. And Logan have not really been design runs, but he also has that in his repertoire. Look at their throw here on third and three. And that's a first down for Boykins. Terry Boykins picks it up. That's a gain of seven for the Terrapins. Just a great route by Kerry Boykins right in the slot. He's going to come in and then get back out. You got to get physical as a wide receiver. You don't want to push off, but if you get physical, and we've seen C.J. Brown really grow up and impress tonight. Pick up the pressure. It's complete to Marcus Leak. And he'll get four, second down and six, as Robinson is again in on the stop. Two most successful plays for Ball State this afternoon. First and ten at their own 40 when they're going to football. Wanting to throw. Pass complete. That's Connor Ryan. He goes nowhere after the catch. Darius Robinson made the nice stop. Again, good quick recognition by winning. He sees a soft corner, meaning the corner's backed off, shoots it out there, and that's a lot of good things about it. He's having a tough time uh, getting the ball to spin for him today. The throw, the pass. Picked off again. This is Robinson. Darius Robinson picked off the pass intended for Connor Ryan. And Clemson has it again at Ball State territory at the 36-yard line. Well, and if you're a defense and you're a defensive coordinator, you're going to tell your corners, hey, this guy's having a tough time throwing the ball down the field. Let's squeeze down on the short routes. This is a slant route by Ryan. And just an excellent job of jumping inside the route on the play by Robinson to make the pick. Malachi Goodman's all for it. First and ten, Clemson. This is the third straight drive. To keep him short, the first down, you saw a lot of Tigers up around who's coming, who's not coming. All of a sudden, they drop off in coverage. They force Wenning to make the short throw. Now you got to make.